Hi everyone, welcome to Ansible Learning Series 1 and 2 Continuous. This is the 15th video on new Ansible Learning Series. In this video, we will see how to configure interface and username using NetConf protocol. In the previous video, we have seen how to configure hostname using NetConf. We tried sending the XML content directly and sending from file. This video is going to be very simple. So here we already have two XML files. One is for username configuration and another is for interface configuration. And first I'll show you the equivalent Python script. Then we'll see the Ansible playbook. So this was the script which I have written earlier for configuring interface. Here I am passing this XML data here. I will be configuring gigabit 2 interface with IP address 22.2 and target is running config and this was the script written for configuring username. So username is going to be in conf underscore test and password was password123. So I have created two XML files with same content and we can verify that here for the username it is config XML NS and in the newer versions I am additionally adding this namespace and the username is netconf test password is password123 and for interface here interface gigabit 2 the IP address is going to be 22.4 and uh, we can use any type of data model here either vendor specific or even the open source uh, RFC defined data model any data model you will be able to use here in the same way now let us create a new playbook here I will call that as 15 underscore and conf interface and user dot Since I'm using the file, I can use same logic. Only thing what we need to change here is the file name. So 15 underscore set interface dot xml and before changing that we have written one playbook earlier where it tries to get all these user details we can try running this to get the details so ansible playbook 13 net conf get config which tries to get the host name interface details and username so hostname is csr3 and interface only gigabit 1 is configured and currently we have 3 users Now we will try configuring the interface.
and we can see the file name here set user.xml so backup I have enabled so this will be taking configuration backup in each execution so let us try running this playbook Okay, we can see here IP has been configured and we will verify the username so netconf test is added we can verify same from the previous playbook where it gets the output and filters it So here also we are able to see the configured the new username and interface IP address. In the next video we will see how to delete the configuration using netconf. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.